Hello everybody, welcome to episode 5 in our tile map tutorial series. Last episode we went over placing tiles and using custom data so that we could only place the seeds on the dirt. So today we are going to get to placing terrains. Uh, but firstly, we're using the click to place seeds but we also are going to use the click to place dirt tiles. So we need a way to toggle between the two. So we're going to go into our project settings, come here to the input map, and we will write toggle dirt and toggle seat. And for the toggle dirt key, I will use the E key. For the toggle seeds key, I'll use the R key. And let's get back to our script. And I will copy this and write toggle dirt, paste, toggle seeds, and we will print toggle dirt, toggle seeds. And let's just test it out. I'm pressing E, it says toggle dirt. I'm pressing R, it says toggle seeds. Perfect. In order to keep track of the state between the dirt state and the seed states, I'm going to use an enum. And this will be called farming modes. And no equal sign, we'll just have seeds and dirt. So then we'll have a variable farming mode and we'll always start off on the dirt state okay so this is this farming mode let's name it state we'll keep track of what to place when we click so when we toggle the dirt we'll change the farming mode state equal to farming mode dirt and then when we toggle seeds We'll just change this to seeds. Alrighty, so when we click, whether we are placing seeds or dirt, these four variables are gonna we're gonna be using. And what I want to do, because a lot of this logic we'll use both for placing seeds and placing dirt, I want to make a general function for retrieving this custom data. And for the parameters, we're going to take the tile mouse position. We'll take the custom data layer and we'll take the layer. So we want to get this tile data. And so we'll use the we'll use the tile map function and we'll get cell tile data. And um, we're gonna use this, uh, remember this tile data. Let's give ourselves some room. Control spacebar, this tile la data takes the layer, so we'll put that there, that's a parameter. The coordinates, which is the tile mouse position. And we don't need that. And again, we're gonna say if tile data, then we want to retrieve this custom data. We're not going to do this logic in here. We're just going to return this custom data. So if we have tile data, then we will return this custom uh, data layer. So get custom data. And we have the custom data layer here. And if there's no tile data, we will return false. Cool. So let's delete all of this. So, and we can just say if, uh, before we use this, first we need to see what state we're in. So if farming mode state equals farming modes, seeds, we are going to retrieve this data. So let's put here the tile mouse position. Custom data layer for the seeds is this one. 
this uh, can play seeds and the layer is the ground because we're even though we're placing uh, the seeds on the environment layer we need to check the layer under it which is the ground layer so remember this is going to be returning true or false if we're able to place the seeds it will return true so we'll say if well there if this is true then we can set the cell set cell and we're not setting it on the ground layer we're setting it on the environment layer tile mouse position source id is already declared up top and atlas chords oh this is actually not we will only be using these atlas chords for the seeds cool okay let's see if that works uh and let's print what mode that we're in dirt seeds okay so i'm pressing seeds and i can place the seeds i'm pressing the dirt layer and the dirt mode and i can't perfect so now since we made this function it'll be much easier to do the next one so we'll say elif farming mode equals farming modes dirt farming mode dirt okay so when we want to place the dirt it's going to be a little bit different because they're not tiles it's a terrain so what we need to do is come up here and let's create an array for the dirt tiles and each time we want to place it first let's check if we can um, place it on a dirt tile so we actually have to make a new custom data layer can place dirt and we'll come in here go to uh, go to the tile set paint can place dirt we need to declare it as a bool and we want to be able to place dirt in all the grass layers and here as well just not that one okay that looks good except for that we don't want to place it on sand and maybe we can place it here and remember this is can place seeds and that is can place dirt cool so now let's copy this value and we'll say can var can place dirt custom data bam so um we will say if retrieving custom data we'll use the same tile mouse position custom data variable is this can place dirt and the layer so we again we want to check the ground layer so if that is true then what we want to do is we want to fill this array with the positions of the dirt terrains so this array can only have dirt terrain positions so we'll go into the dirt tiles and append um this tile mouse position and then we come here to the tile map and we want this function set cells terrain connect and if i click it update all the cells in the cells coordinates so look um, it requires us to have this cells value, which is an array of vector two eyes. So it's the position for the tiles. And then we want this terrain set and the terrain, and we will go over that. And it updates all of them in this array. So we append it tile map set cell terrain connect. So the layer, these dirt cells are going to be on the ground layer. The cells are going to be this array of the positions. And then this terrain set, if we come here, 
and we go to our terrain sets let's expand all of our terrains it is dirt on grass that's the terrain we're placing and it is the zero um index so the terrain set is zero one two so the second one and it's the zero if we had another one and it was here it would be the first one but we don't so it's two zero terrain set two terrain zero okay and can place dirt is not declared oh it was here can place dirt custom data that should be good okay all righty let's test it out nice it seems to be working and it's even connecting uh with the tiles that we placed before that aren't in the in array so that's pretty interesting and then if i want to toggle to seeds i can then place seeds so there you have it you can see now the difference between placing cells and placing terrains and yeah code is looking tidier now that we're using a general function for it that's enough for this episode thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time bye if you enjoyed this video consider joining the patreon where i release demo and source code for the projects behind the scenes and get early access and your name in the godot book i'm working on i also stream game development on twitch thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time